Hi, welcome to Apache YouTube channel. Today we are going to check out this free screenshot tool for your Mac operating system. To install this tool, you can go to shorter.cc. I will also be putting the URL of this website in the description of this YouTube video. Once you are here, you can simply click on the download button and uh, it will automatically start a download. With the file is downloaded, simply click on the downloaded file. This will open the installer to install the shorter app in your applications folder. Simply select the app, drag and drop it into the application folder. Once this is completed, you will be able to see shorter in the list of your installed apps. Simply click on the app. It will ask you if you want to open this app because you have downloaded it from the internet. Simply click on the open button to open the app. When Shorter is open, you will see this icon for Shorter in your top menu bar of your Mac operating system. So make sure that the option to launch a startup is selected here and then click on preferences. First, let's set up the hotkeys, right? To set the hotkeys, there are some steps here. So what we have to do is we have to go to system preferences. And now we have to click on keyboard shortcut screenshots. Keyboard shortcuts and then screenshots. It says uncheck checkboxes for system shortcuts. So there are two checkboxes here. I'm going to unselect both of them. And then it says put command shift 3 into full screen. Uh, and this is already there. And command shift 4 into the area screenshot please below. So as you can see below, these two options are already selected here. In case these are not selected, simply click on this but bar and then press Command key, Shift key and 3 on your keyboard. You can actually clear this out by clicking this cross button. Now this is empty and I can press Command Shift 3 to record the shortcut. Additionally, you can also select Command Shift 5 under Instant Text or QR Generation, uh, QR Recognition option over here. I will be shortly explaining what this option does. Once this is done, now you can go to any screen on your Mac and when you press Command Shift 3, this will essentially open this second window on the top of your Mac. And it will take the screenshot of whatever is on your screen and show you in this editor window. Let me close this. Let me open another app. Maybe I will open text edit. Or let's maybe open a simple text editor. And now when I press Command Shift 3, you will notice that this shorter window has opened and it has opened with a screenshot of whatever was on my screen. Once this is there, you can also use the tools which are available on your screen. Like this tool, when I hover on it, it says arrow. So I can utilize this tool to make an arrow. I can type some text like this is some text. I can even draw a rectangle or use the pencil tool to write anything. I can blur or erase out certain text. So if I don't want to show this text, I can simply select it and it gets blurred. Once this is blurred, I can also increase the amount of blur. There is a highlighter. This lets me highlight any part of the window. Or the screenshot. There is also a spotlight. So if I want to put spotlight on 
uh, any one feature i can do that there's some other tools like counter which is a very handy tool so if i want to highlight steps in a tutorial i can just say step one step two step three step four step five there are some other tools like oval line and paste image uh, available here when you're drawing something let's say if i'm drawing a rectangle once i've drawn the rectangle i also get an option here to change the color of the rectangle or if i'm typing some text I can utilize this over here to change the color of the text as well. Once this is done, there are two options that I usually use. One is this button copies the screenshot to the clipboard but does not save it in a folder on your Mac. So this is only when you want to create a temporary screenshot and you want to paste it on WhatsApp or you want to paste it inside some note taking app or you want to paste it on your internal slack channel right so if you don't want to save the screenshot in your system you can simply click on this copy button and this window closes and it copies the screenshot to the clipboard alternatively you can also click on this save button which saves it in the default folder folder that you have specified for now i'm just going to click on this copy button once this is done the screenshot is now copied to clipboard and i can actually Paste this screenshot in any window. So, for example, if I open text edit and open a new document and I paste it, you can see that the screenshot is now pasted inside the text edit window. But this screenshot is not saved anywhere on your mind. Next up, if you want to save a screenshot, click on the button over here, go to preferences and now we are going to see what is the default location where screenshots are saved on your Mac. In my case, I can see the screenshots folder by clicking here and it says that I can choose a folder where I want to save the screenshots. So in my case, I already have this folder screenshots main. I will select that folder and say select folder and then this folder gets selected automatically over here. Once this is done, you can close this and next time I will take a screenshot. Let us let me take a screenshot of this screen and I hit the save button. It says click to open in finder. This screenshot is automatically saved in the screenshots main folder as shown over here that's about how do you take screenshots and copy or save it on your mac one last very important feature is under preferences if you remember under hotkeys we had chosen we had chosen to set a shortcut command shift 5 for instant text or qr recognition Let's try this out now. So suppose I have any image on my Mac, right? This could even be a screenshot, right? So if I simply press Command Shift 5, my cursor changes, if you notice, to this different cursor, right? And now if I select any text and leave my cursor, it copies the text that I that was visible under the selected area. So in this case, now if I come here and I type, let's say, let me open a new document over here. And if I paste it over here, you will notice that it has automatically copied the same text which was visible in the screen over here. Now, you will notice that instead of morning, this has copied it as morning. This is a typo over here. But you can simply correct it by fixing a typo and with very limited effort you can copy a lot of text that is being shown on your screen so let's say if i search for a random google image saying lot of text and let's say i have something like this and i want this is an image and i want to convert it into plain text i can simply press command shift 5 on my keyboard 
select the section that contains the text and when I leave it the text is now copied to clipboard so I can now open text edit and paste the entire text that was automatically copied for me this is a feature of shorter that I like a lot and this is why I use shorter hope you found this video useful if you like this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to keep getting very useful videos about free tools that you can use on your Mac operating system. Have a nice day.